Are you ready for the first gun control fight of the year? We're starting out strong by going after a 40-year-old piece of legislation that could be weaponized into a massive gun ban. Hi, I'm Ben, and you're watching the Minuteman Moment. Before I jump into today's video, I wanted to remind you to subscribe below so you can stay up to date with all of GOA's latest fights for your rights. Okay, so we've talked about the Undetectable Firearms Act, or the UFA, on this channel before. But in case you forgot, here's a quick rundown on how it fails to protect the public. Number one, the paranoia over undetectable firearms is some lame Hollywood logic fueled by movies like Die Hard and others. Luggage? That punk pulled a Glock 7 on me. You know what that is? It's a porcelain gun made in Germany. Doesn't show up on your airport x-ray machines here and it costs more than you make in a month. You'd be surprised what I make in a month. And number two, even if a person brought an undetectable firearm somewhere, we would only know about it after they managed to do something with it. The UFA would only be a reactive punishment, which at that point, there are a lot more serious charges than getting caught with a gun. In fact, we found these two studies that show that there were zero prosecutions under the UFA between 2000 and 2023. This is despite the fact that 100% 3D printed guns were already prolific. The current UFA, or the temporary reauthorization, includes a sunset provision. This means that the law must be reauthorized or it expires. So if the attorney general does something Congress doesn't like, they can simply not reauthorize it and kill the law. Now, it's only a matter of time before the UFA gets weaponized. Take, for example, how the Gun Controls Act definition of mental defective in 1968 was weaponized by the Clinton administration some 30 years later when the VA turned over 250,000 veterans into prohibited persons. This was only made possible because the VA took an old definition, which no one at the time had thought would be used to deny people who can't balance their checkbooks their two-way rights. Combine this principle with the old 80s language of how major components, like a frame or receiver, need to be visible under x-ray, then the issue comes with Biden's ATF frame or receiver rule that wanted to redefine those terms to include most parts of a firearm. This could have led to multiple different frames and receivers on a firearm, like a Glock, and if one of those pieces, like the magazine release or the trigger or whatever else was not identifiable under x-ray, then the entire gun would have been banned. Because of the high potential for abuse of this law, a permanent reauthorization of the UFA could have disastrous consequences. Thankfully, Representative Massey and Ogles are leading the fight with a letter to the speaker, encouraging them to hold the line and reject a permanent reauthorization or expansion of the UFA. This is where we need your help. Please call your elected representative and urge them not to permanently reauthorize or expand the Undetectable Firearms Act. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe below so you can stay up to date with all of GOA's latest fights for your rights.